video, it like kind of like I pauses, but like the sound still like oh, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's like an internal sound. You said seven, right? <laughs> All right. So let's go through these. Remember again, 
that cosine is attached to that 108. And so in order to get cosine of A alone, I'm going to move this 117 over in a way. So I get 79 over here. So in order to get my cosine alone, now I can divide by negative 108. And that's what I'm going to do my inverse cosine of to find my angle A. degrees for our angle A, which again makes sense in this drawing. It should be the longest, or the it's across from the longest side, so it should be the biggest angle. Makes sense it would be obtuse in that case. Alright, and then uh, 14 and 16 asks us to um, use law of sines and cosines to solve the triangle. So um, number 16 is actually really similar to 7. Once you have that angle, then you have to use law of sines though. Um, so let's start with 14 and like I might start it, I may not finish it completely though, um, for these to solve the whole triangle. So little b over here is what I'm looking for because, sorry, side angle side, we have to use law of cosines. Now this is the kind that I like doing because, I mean, I mean, like is a relative word here, but these are easier to do because I can just put this whole thing into my calculator, this whole side of the equal sign, and actually I could put it all underneath a square root if I wanted to, um, but I'll do all that right away. So I get b squared equals 978.5. And I take the square root of that, and I get 31.3 for my B. Well, let me just do there. So that's my side B. So, and again, make sure it makes some sort of sense. Longest side should be across from the biggest angle. Once I know that, like again, I'm not going to finish this up completely. I might do one more. I guess it doesn't take much more, but um, I'm going to find an angle now because that's what I'm missing still. So if I use angle A, I do sine of A goes with 16. And then sine of 97 would go with this 31.3. So in order to find A, I have to cross multiply. My board would cooperate here. And I do 16 times the sine of 97. I'm going to divide by 31.3. And so, in order to figure out what A is again, we're doing the inverse sine, though, of this whole fraction. You need to be really careful putting this into your calculator, and this is why practicing our homework is so important, that you guys make sure you know how to put it in. Your answer makes sense when you're done. Um, so you put all that in to figure out our angle A. And then once you know angle A, you can find angle C just by the fact they add up to 180 degrees together. All right. And finally, um, on this last one, it essentially is the same idea as what we just did here. So we have to, and what we did here. So we, we're going to use, like if I go for angle C first, I'm going to do this huge long formula like we did in number seven. Once I have that angle, then I have to do law of sines to set up to find those other angles. If you have a specific spot where you're like stuck, we can talk about it, but um, it kind of is a combination of these two together. All right. Okay. 
Any other questions? All right, so um, I'll get you guys new notes for today. Um, it's gonna be some similar stuff, but some of it might be brand new to you. I don't know if this is a formula you've learned before. Um, I know I don't teach it in geometry or my algebra too, so um, this might be new to you. So we'll go over What's that? Um, I don't think pre calc does it either. So this is I know. Might be a first, this might be a first for all of you. I don't know. Yeah. Holy cow, I'm teaching you something brand new. It's the first. But the way we're going to do area is the first, probably. Most of this you've seen before. There's going to be one new formula, I think. you were able to find the angle without much work. Now just a reminder, I think Sokotoa is easier than Law of Sines, but Law of Sines does work for this problem, but since it's a right triangle, I think using Sokotoa is a little bit easier. Um, so. Which trig ratio did you guys use? Sine, cosine, tangent. What's that? Tangent. I think tangent's the easiest. So tangent of our 28 degree angle. Toa is opposite over adjacent. So I'll call that my x over here. This one I can just multiply both sides by 29.3. And if you're getting weird answers, double check you're in the right mode in your calculator. Theorem or um, trig. 
I got 33.2 for my hypotenuse. Is that what you guys got? Yeah, okay. So hopefully you guys are able to find those all the missing sides, angles. Um, now, if I asked you guys to find the area of this triangle, we would be able to find area the way you've learned how to find area however long you've known how to do that ever since you were smaller than you are now. Um, so area of a triangle, <laughs> Most of you. <laughs> you haven't grown since like I don't know what grade you learn that. Um, all right. So you've probably seen a formula, something like this, base times height divided by two or one half base times height. Works very nicely if you know your base and height. Now, in the warm-up problem, initially we wouldn't have known the base and height, but now we know it, so we'd be able to find the area of that triangle. We'd also be able to find the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around, just in case you forgot that. Again, hopefully, um, you'd be able to. So perimeter, we just add them. Whereas the area, we use this formula. So if I wanted the area of the warm-up question, which two sides would I use? Which two sides would I use for our area? The adjacent, the opposite. So the base and height, although that's not the way we think of base and height typically, how did she know that was the base and height? Yeah, it's that little right angle. The right angle determines where the base and height show up. So in a triangle, when we talk about base and height, the triangle we're talking like we're looking for that right angle intersection. So, um, in the warm-up question, even though the triangles are kind of skewed, the base and height are the two that meet at a right angle. Typically, we see it something like what we see down here, where they give you like they'll give you like the the height or they give you the base across the bottom. But again, it could show up in other spots in the drawing. So. Um, like it could be a perfect right triangle like this maybe, or maybe we don't know that and we have to use it kind of this way. So if we're looking for that 90 degree intersection. It can also be outside the sheet. triangle in the warm-up question. So taking a minute to find the area and the perimeter of that triangle we just used in our warm-up. triangle. 
And then perimeter is just the distance around the outside. And we should know that now again because they gave us those other, or we found those other measurements based off of what we had before. So we're just basically adding up the outside. What was the third side? I can't see mine. 33 point what? Thank you. And now distance around, again we're talking about going around, so um, we would just add those up. So we get 78.1 and then that would be miles just in that case. 78.1, So, like, my drawing is probably not great, 
Um, I intended you guys to do trig for this, and so this one's a bad example. That's why I wanted to get rid of the 12, because you'll get two different answers depending on if you do like Sokotoa or if you do Pepe right there. So, I the answers Area 
scale though, we'd have to do base times the height divided by two. So we'd use the height, but then we'd also need this whole base, which is this whole thing across and divide it in half, right? Did you need to use tungsten for that wire or no? You could have done Pythagorean theorem. You should have still gotten 17.7, did you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we do 9.4 times, this would be 26.7, and then divide it by 2, right? Because that whole thing. And our area then would be like 125.3 units squared, 49. Exactly. And so it just, yeah, it depends on your rounding throughout the problem. So we'll take a break because obviously we need one.